Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, yesterday I did a video on fuming white oak. Uh, and after I saw all the questions that people were asking, I realized I didn't really explain it in very much depth. So this, we're going to call this part two, but it's going to be uh, a more in-depth uh, explanation of the fuming process. So let's get started. Okay, this is a Wimshurst machine that I'm building. It's an electrostatic generator. It makes a big spark. I'm going to do a follow-up video on that uh, where I go through the whole build process. But this video is going to be specifically about what I did to the wood uh, in the fuming process. The fuming process has been around since the early 1900s. I believe uh, it was discovered in the 1800s but it really became popular in the 20s and the 30s and uh, it uses ammonia to darken white oak now it'll work on other woods but white oak is uh, it works most effective on and that's because of a tannin content in the white oak but there's the difference that's raw white oak and this is fumed for three days and has an oil finish on it Here's something else really amazing about this process. Uh, after I fumed this, I cut it in half. You'll notice the color is really deep in the wood. I mean, there was another piece out here, I just cut it off. So you can sand this without any color change. Same color. Okay, here's where I sanded on the belt sander over there. That color is deep in the wood. This right here is a storage tub. I don't know what happened to the lid to it, but uh, the lid was not very good sealing. So I put rubber around the edge of it and I made this uh, platform here. Now that's a piece of red fiberglass I had. You could use plastic. And I got these wood bars. I just screw down on top of these two by twos to seal it to the base. And I took this 28% ammonium hydroxide. That's some strong ammonia. I did it outside, stood up wind, and poured about maybe two inches in the coffee can right there. And then I put the wood in this chamber along with that ammonia, sealed it, and then I brought it inside in case of rain and uh, let it fume for three days. And that's what it looks like after three days. However, after I took it out of the chamber, it looked more like that. It's kind of a neutral brown color, but putting oil on it darkened it further. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, I hope that kind of explains some of the questions. I will be doing a follow-up video on this Wimshurst machine. Uh, I've got another one to build. This one's kind of experimental. If it works good, I will... Uh, make a complete video on building this machine. I also put a link in the information area underneath this video. Uh, you can see one of these in action. Thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.